Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. I just had to come with you guys again. Um, I've been reading about and writing about and blogging about the great uh, migration reversal. And a lot of black people up north and in DC and New York are going, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to go back down south. I'm too good for that. And guess what? Those people are usually broke, okay? Let's be really honest because the people who have the sense to notice for the past uh, 10 years, white people have been killing out of Dodge. They've been getting out of New York, they've been getting out of Pennsylvania, they've been getting out of Massachusetts, Delaware, Ohio, uh, Michigan, you name it up north they're getting up out of there. Why? Because of taxes, terrible policy, and that awful smug climate they're in, okay? Listen, um, if you live in Chicago and you're having that eight months of winter, God bless you because you love Chicago that much to keep saying. But for us down here down south, as you see, I'm sweating in my sweater. Ah, it's so hard sweating in, in March like this. Um, there's so much opportunity down here for someone to stick their nose in the air and go, I'm not being a part of that. It's just silly. It's downright silly and it's kind of funny, but we'll keep making money and you just keep staying up there. And, and I will personally attest to knowing two New York guys who came down here and the first thing I saw, I was like, man, you work all day. You're working at group homes. You're a barber. You also work another job at night, man. When do you sleep? And this guy's like, there's so much opportunity down here. I'm from New York and I got a felony and I couldn't get a job anywhere. And here I am working three jobs. This guy, kid you not, five years later, he owns 10 houses down here. And, and I'm talking about these $20,000, these $40,000, these $50,000 houses that senior citizens leaving New York are flocking to. So they're not no dumps. The three bedroom, two baths, 1980s, 1990s, sound structurally. Most time the kitchen just needs updating. But guess what? It's better than living in a cramp tiny uh, closet of a box in New York. So I, I'm sorry, I know how black people love New York. They love it. I get you love it. It's just too expensive, sorry. And, and a lot of times people say, well, Erica, the jobs. They get down there, the jobs. They, just, they don't pay like uh, the jobs up north. I'm sorry if you think you deserve $25 an hour for sitting in an office pushing paper around. Yeah, down here, down south, down in the Carolinas, down in Texas, down in Georgia, we'll pay you about maybe 11, 12, $15 an hour for that same job. And guess what? You'll still be able to afford a car and afford a house. <gasps> no, no. Listen, most of the people I know, when I went to East Carolina University, they went back up north and worked for one year in Maryland, in Virginia, in that hour long commute traffic in the morning. And yeah, they made $90,000, but guess what happened the year after that? They brought their asses back down to North Carolina and bought a big old house with that nice, tax refund and that tax check showing that they made all that money and then they went and took a job that paid them twenty thousand dollars less just so they could get out of that awful awful traffic and the awful cost of living you guys have up there i don't care what you say if you're sitting in an hour and 30 minutes in traffic to go seven miles which i've actually done in bethesda maryland taking my mom to the lovely hospitals you have up there psych not very lovely um it's just not that great, I'm sorry. And that was at lunchtime. It wasn't even in the morning, it was at lunchtime I was taking her seven miles and it took an hour and 30 minutes. So have at it, have DC, have Upper Virginia, have Maryland, have at it, man. Enjoy that living. Now, now for you people that live up, up north in New York, and it's nice and it's, and it's like farm related, it's like the, the country, you know? Hey, hey, I get you, I get you, stay there. That's cool, that's nice. But for those who would love to, uh, at some point in their time, have some money, have some wealth, actually gain traction in their life, welcome to the South, come on down. You know, and, and many people say, well, they're tolerating us, they're not welcoming us. I'm sorry, if you're coming down here whining, complaining, and talking about how great Chicago was, but now you're in Texas, and I've been, I've been accused of this as well, talking about how great North Carolina was while I was in Texas. I get it, a little rude, it's rude. People don't like that, so come embrace start over start anew but realize if you're up north and you're undisciplined and you don't have your shit together and your behavior's bad and you quit jobs all the time and you think they just come overnight and you get down here and guess what your life will probably still be shit i mean you'll have a new environment and people won't know you so you can start over but if you don't make good healthy decisions good stable choices you'll be repeating the same cycle so yeah i love when people make fun of all the black people moving to Atlanta and texas that's where the whatever is moved to, but it is. It's an opportunity for you to start over and really actually gain some wealth. And, and I want a, a blog I just 
I want you guys to read is Paula Pants Afford Anything. She basically went to Atlanta with a backpack on her back after traveling for three years. And five years later, she owned nine properties that pay her nice in Atlanta. She bought them around $20,000 a piece and they're paying her anywhere from $800 to $900. So yeah, you know, you keep laughing and you keep complaining about those poor people down south and people like her will keep moving down south and buying up rental properties and living a wonderful life. So this is Erica, Classy Climb Blog. You guys have a great day.